Hello everyone, this is Steven Come on, us as Cookie, and welcome to North Rooksboro Speedway for the sixth race of the hashtag Save the Speedway 400 for the NRLA Chipsoy Cup Series. We're here at one of the most legendary short tracks that discontinued ever since 1986, and we still use it on our in our universe as of today. And I'm one of these people, so yeah. But anyways, uh, Darlington was, a. Uh, it seemed okay. I guess it's, uh, pretty boring, but it was okay. At least I got to see our first time winner, which, uh, which is about, uh, Sim Oskin, who just got his first win out here at Darlington, and right now he is at the front row with Troy Devilport, which is not Mitchell Collins. Uh, sorry. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah. There's that, I guess. <laughs> Can I explain more if I wanted to? But anyways, here is your start grid for tonight. Safe to speed... Hashtag safe to speed way for race. So in World 1, we got Charlie Devilport and Mitchell Collins. I mean, Sim Oskin, excuse me. World 2, we got Luke Rennie and Mitchell Collins. World 3, we got Lettuce Bit Jr. And Zachary Davis. Well, four we got Logan Williams and Don Falconer. Well, five Noelle Holiday and Old Miles. Well, six Don Falconer and Boy Rubbleton. Row seven. I mean, row six. Jeez. Row six Brian Perez and Kobe Harris. Row seven Denny Silla and Jack Joes. Row eight David Pastor and Dustin Davis. Row nine Carvel and Marco Davison. Row ten. Phil Moscow and Zachary Fitzwater. Row 11. Trey Smith and Chase Harris. In row 12, we got John Davis and Kip Silverpoint. Let's go to TV2 for a better, better angle for this. Row 14, we got uh, John Tryant and Jesse James. Row 14, we got Silas Order and Renan Hysip. Row 15, we got Scott. Uh, excuse me. Scopton and Brandon Yodel. For 16, we got Louis Sankawa and Joshua Johnson. For 17, we got Trevor Collins and Stephen Cologne. Oh no, that's for 18. Well, I screwed up. Uh, no, we're just gonna get for this. Doesn't matter if it's screwed up or not. For 19, we got Brady Nugis and Chase Johnson. Johnston, and at Friday Row 20 is Nick Wall and Sophia Fregnado. So that is it for your uh, starting lineup. I mean, start grid. Well, it's the same thing. That's it for your starting grid for tonight's uh, hashtag safe to speedway 400 race. So now we're going to get through the command to fire the engines to start off this sixth race of the NRLA Chips Hoy Cup Series. And I've missed the command for the second time. Which I'm not even gonna bother to do it again, because first time went bad. I had a lot of wrecks at first. But the second time, I'm pretty sure that I fixed the uh, speed manual, so this shouldn't be had that much wrecks by now. So, anyways, we're gonna go green for race number six. Not to save this. Hashtag save the speedway 400 race here at North Folks World Speedway. Right now we got Charlie Devonport as our leader and Luke Rennie to second, who had a great start, better than the five races they uh been to. So uh Yeah, this is pretty something for Luke Rennie to uh run to second at North Roxbro. Their third is Lance Smith Jr. And I think he could Quite get past 
by either Simon Oskin or Zachary Davis. It should be amazing if Zachary Davis, if he would pass Lance Witt Jr. for third. Well, Lance Witt Jr. will go to second anyways. As Luke Rennie will now be third. We see two JGR drivers. Joy Devilport won twice at Las Vegas and our club. We see Sam Oskin won the previous race at Donington. But could Lennon Smith Jr. be f quite faster than Charlie and Samet here at North Wilkesboro? Just so he can search for his first win? Well. I'm a bit curious to ask, ask that question, but we will find how, how it goes for Lance Smith Jr. of how well he would do by his performance here at North Forksboro. And Sam Oskin passed Zachary Davis and Luke Ray just so they can get his gain a spot for third. As now we have three JGR drivers to the top three position yet again. But will Simas can pass Lance Butchner just for a second if he if he was looking for for a lead again? Lots to find out for ourselves. It seems that Lance Jr. could quite get closer to Troy Devilport. If he's gone closer enough, he might be able to get the chance to try to pass Troy Devilport soon. Right now, I think Troy Devilport is still holding on pretty well to his lead, so he would quite go farther away from Lance Jr. right now. So I don't think Lance Foot Jr. will be catching up to him just yet. Here's Mitchell Collins, who is now at fifth. Might try to pass Luke Rainey. Just, just so I can uh, get himself to fourth. But Lens, but look, Rain, Rainy is still holding on to fourth. If he holds on to fourth for this whole race, that will give him larger points than how he would recently just get 50 points. I mean, if he does get passed by Mr. Collins, he'll still stay to stay to the top five position, and we'll still get one hundred points. But he's not gonna let Mr. Collins do that. He's just gonna stay to fourth, and uh, yeah, I have no other things to say about that. He's just Jesus, Jesus, what? He's just gonna try hard. He's just gonna try to uh get away from Mitchell Collins or block him. Just so he could stay the fourth if he really wants watcher points more than fifty. God, what a ton twister. Lance Jr. has gone close. To try to hope for again, but still doesn't know when to pass. We're just gonna figure this out. Or somehow. Or not. Or maybe that much. That Sema Oskin. Almost a Mitchell Collins, Jesus. Or that Sema Oskin could pass Lance Butchner to now. Which that led him to third.
It seems that Lance Bear Jr. won't give up just yet. He's still behind a Simon Hoskins car. And he wants to pass him, but it seems that Simon has gone a bit far away from him, so I don't think he'll get his position back. Neutral Collins have gone close to Ukraine again. And Luke Rennie is still gonna block Mitchell Collins. Just like it stayed a fourth. Which it might be this is just gonna be a battle between fourth. This is gonna be a battle for fourth. Excuse me, but Mitchell Collins have already uh, gone to the outside, which I think he's going to plan to uh, pass him, but maybe Luke is going to save his position? I don't know, they're side by side still. Seems that he's saving his position. Oh, I don't think he could. Now he lands to fifth. Well, he's not going to worry to get... Uh, get passed by uh, Mitchell Collins. If he still stays to 5th, he'll still get a bunch of points this whole time. If he ends up getting passed, Daniel's just gonna keep getting 50 points if he got passed by Owen Miles. But he seems to be pretty further away from Owen Miles, so I think he'll be good for now. Unless if Owen Miles is gonna try to catch him up. Just gotta try to catch up to him. Oh, Jesus. And now we're seeing some lap down drivers getting passed by Troy Devilport at Sam Oskin. And Lance Foot Jr. didn't pass any of these drivers yet. Which that might have slowed, slowed him down. At least that'll give Sim Oskin a chance to get a bit closer to Troy Devilport. But Troy Devilport will still hold on to his lead, so... He's just gonna look forward for a third win tonight. He won at Las Vegas, he won at Auto Club. Just two... Speedways. Never won a short track before. So I think he's gonna look forward to win one of the short tracks like this. But now what will Sam Oskin do is just still catch up to him if he could have gotten close to him again. But if nothing will go well, then he won't earn a second race. Just the same way of how Troy Devilport. Just the same way how Troy Devilport did when he got to once by tonight. But I think by now, this might be the time to uh, try to pass the leader. Which I think Troy Devilport has gone a bit closer to Troy Devilport this time. So let's see if he could try to pass the leader. 
And I don't... I uh, he might... He's trying... He is trying hard though. But I just didn't get close to him just yet. Well, I don't think he would. I don't think he could pass him right now, so. I don't think he got any chances for that. Maybe he does now. Oh boy. We're going free wide. And that led to Sam Oskin to finally to take his lead, but he's. Oh, there you are. Looks like they're going side by side. But I don't think they are. They're still battling against each other. But I think Sam and Oskin will hold off for this one. And the caution is out. And it seems that we got. Seems like we got. Damage from uh, Trevor Collins, which I think he's got involved from a wreck. Is anyone else involved? Oh, Chase Johnson! Chase Johnson, I think, got involved with Trevor Collins. He got some heavy damage too. Well, okay then. Right now, few drivers have stayed out. Including Mitchell Collins, since he still wants to keep his lead anyways. A few other drivers that are pitting by now. Just so they can get some new tires. And some fuel. Okay. Luke Rainey, man. Just... I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. But uh, yeah, Charlie Devonport has got a pit stop first, so that will let him to second. And then third is uh, Lance Pitt Jr., I think. Third is Mitchell Collins. Fourth, Luke Rennie, which I think that will let him to still stay to... Uh... No, wait a minute. Hold on. No, that will still let him to fifth. Okay. They still kept their positions. Alright. Six uh oh, okay. It seems like we Jeez. Everyone was just pushing each other. Stephen Cologne with the Oh oh jeez. Okay then, well, uh, since uh, I think Trevor Collins and Chase Johnson were involved, let's go back on uh, what happened from the first caution. So right before we uh, look at what happened from the uh, first caution, we see a uh, wreck between uh, Chase Johnson and Joshua Johnson. Both Johnson and Johnson. We have both uh, hit each other to the wall, and yeah, the caution was out. The caution wasn't out for this one. We're still going green, and uh, we were uh, able to uh, continue the race. I just didn't know that uh, there was a bit of a uh, wreck between uh, Chase Johnson and Joshua Johnson. But luckily both of them didn't spawn out and close the others, so that didn't count for a caution, so let's actually go look at what our drivers who have mostly wrecked, which includes Jace Johnston, who have wrecked for a second time. And this time I think the second the second hit will obviously count for as a uh, caution, so. 
So apparently, Chase Johnson didn't got take out, but the driver, the other driver who did got take out, is Stephen Colon, and Luke Rennie is one of the drivers who have took out the number eight driver, and this is where Chase Johnson had made a big hit on the number eight car. Luckily, his teammate got away with it, but. Man, it's just... I don't know. <laughs> For me, in that a, a car, I just... I'm speechless and gotten a bit upset. For what Luke Rainey has done to me in the number 8 machine. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, the, the number 8... The number eight just had the worst season and had no luck whatsoever. And this is where everyone is pushing each other on the back stretch and the uh, pit road, but that doesn't matter. But uh, instead of bad lucks and uh, a couple of wrecks that just happened, let's get back to the race. Also, yes, I did notice that. Sima Oscar was pinged too, but the drivers who have uh, pushed against each other have distracted me, so uh, there's just so much things that I couldn't settle all, so <laughs> yeah. Uh, Joshua Johnson and John Tryant were the only two drivers that stayed out, but it still counts for Troy Devonport to get his lead back. Lance Butcher to second, and third for Mitchell Collins. But going back green for the first time here at North Brooksboro with Troy Devonport as still our leader, who mostly led a whole couple laps. More okay, never mind. Why well, didn't know that he was gonna pit until now? Okay then, well, at least that's a big chance for Nana Smith Jr. to get his lead for the first time. As the uh, third JGR driver who's looking forward to try to get some wins. Mitchell Collins to second. Might be battling against uh, Lance Smith Jr., but I feel like think Lance Smith Jr. would have. Got far away from him or not. You have Luke Rennie to third, which is a good spot for Luke Rennie to still stay in the top 10 position. I mean, top 5 position, excuse me. And there goes Logan Williams, that just pitted as well. Seems like we're halfway by now. I know I said it late, but... It's still halfway. But, uh, yeah. We're afraid until we end this race to a laps, so let's keep it going. And we see here that Mitchell Collins try to pass Lance Smith Jr. But amazingly, just still kept behind by Joshua Johnson's car. And right now, he had just passed him and take the whole, and was gonna take the whole lead by himself. Now Mitchell, for, by now for what Mitchell Collins would do is just gonna try to. Uh, Chase against him, and hopefully we will uh, pass him until he get gets the lead. If he really wants to win for the second time, same thing for how Troy Devonport went with the Las Vegas and the All Club race. It's by one week, and it won't make a difference for Mitchell Collins or Lance Smith Jr. Ever since Sima Oskin F1 the Hills, not the Hillside race, the Donington race. But yeah. So it's still good for Linus Fred Jr. to get far away from Rachel Collins. So, uh. Yeah, happy for him to, uh. get the chance to, uh, lead the race. And I'm also happy for Luke Rennie. 
to still stay to the top 5 position. But I'm also, uh... Pretty bit salty since he wrecked my driver. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter, though. I shouldn't have been lucky, so... It still wouldn't matter. It still wouldn't matter. Well, I was going to say something about Sergio Davis, but never mind. He was just holding on for a top 5 position, but then gets passed by Owen Miles. Yeah, at least he's, uh... At least he's one of the, uh, top, gen top 10 drivers who, uh... At least got the, uh... More points. Of somebody. I may have got that wrong or not, but I'll have time to uh, check the uh, point standings right until the race ends, so... Actually, no, what I'm... I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm just gonna go along with it before I even say the stupid things. Stupid things. And we got a crash from Jesse James. Who just hit it the wall? That'll mark that as our second caution. Is the caution out? Hold on, let me see the pace car. No! We're still going green! Wow! Ain't that lucky for Lens Butchner. I thought we're gonna... I thought we are gonna get a second caution, but... It seems that no one has been, uh... Spawned out lately. Lately. But it seems that Jesse James... Has hit the wall a bit, and... Didn't get spun out, so... I guess that's... <laughs> excuse me. I guess that's why we don't have... Okay, now we do have a caution. Now what just happened? And I think Dustin Davis have got involved with someone. Okay, well, I was I was seriously just said that it wouldn't be lucky for Lance Smith Jr. if he still stay to his lead, but now that I see that Dustin Davis and got involved with some, someone with a uh, big hit this time. Since he got a bad damage there. That will, that will count as a second caution. Excuse me. Now drivers are pitting. Revolve the leader. Mitchell Collins, Luke Rainey, everyone else. Except for some drivers who have stayed out. Or who have pitted already for... The first time, right before we uh, get, right before that we're green, but uh, yeah. Anyways, um, let's see. Last so junior got a uh, hit lane first. Second, Mitchell Collins. Third is Denny Silva. Fourth, Warren Miles. Fifth, Sacker Davis. Sixth, uh. Warrior up at 7, Fluke Rennie 8, Phil Moscow 9th, Noah Holiday at 10th is Sam Oscar, I think. I don't know. But right now I'm seeing that the other couple of drivers who are that are pitting by now, so uh Yeah, there's that. And that's a Davis. I'm pretty sure he pit that long, but he got a lot of damage to go through, so uh yeah. <laughs> so, besides of, uh... Fit stops and all that, let's just go back onto what happened from Jesse James and Dustin Davis. And, uh... 
Yeah, sh this is shorter we play. So, we did see that Jesse James got spawned out at the backstretch and uh, hit the wall. But this isn't the first time that he had gone through this. At least this is the second time that he got through a wreck uh, like this. Since Charlie Devonport just nearly took out Jesse James at first at the front stretch. So, that's the first time that he... Uh, Got almost took it out, almost took out by uh, someone, and I'm pretty sure the second time have been involved with uh, Trevor Collins. Both of them spun out, but I don't think Jesse James or Trevor Collins near them hit the wall, so they're both safe. Well. Jesse James did hit the uh, wall, but at least he didn't hit the wall from the uh, back stretch, at least. So, yeah, that's what happened from the uh, buffets that were that was Jesse James uh, was dealing with with uh, the two Toyota drivers. Now let's look back onto another uh, wreck, which that would count. As a second caution. So this is where the caution started. Apparently Chase Johnson. Had uh, collected Dustin Davis. And turned him into the wall. And that was. Pretty hard hit for Dustin Davis mostly. A little bit of a hard hit for Jesse. Chase Johnson. Chase Harris. Excuse me. But uh. Yeah, that must have sucked for Dustin Davis. Must have sucked for Jesse James as well. But mostly sucked for Dustin Davis, who have gotten a hard hit and a hard damage from Chase Harris. But uh, yeah, that's what happened from the uh, free uh, free wrecks that just happened. And now we're gonna get back to the race. So I think this time I think that Jesse No, not Jesse James, what? I think that Jack Joes will be our new leader this time, I think. Since Logan Williams have stayed out. But yeah, we're gonna get ready to uh get this restarted for the second time. And hopefully everything for the last few laps be a uh, good show. Yeah, that's pretty much it for us to say for that. But anyways, we're going back green for the second time, and Jack Joe's will stay to the lead for only a little bit. And Kobe Harris, there he goes. He's about to take the lead away from. Jack Joe's right onto the 30, 65 lap. Yep, he got the lead. Dustin Davis behind of Colby Harris, though. Oh, wait, he's also uh, one lap down. Okay, we'll be able to uh, worry about that one. A little bit of a free wide from Dustin Davis. Uh, Lance Smith Jr. and Jack Joes. There goes Denny Silva, who just passed his team. Oh, we got a wreck from the 48 and the 22. And Mitchell Collins. Oh, God, everyone's involved as well. Well, at least, but, okay. Well, at least a couple drivers. But, oh, jeez. <laughs> Sophia Fregno kept pushing the number one car. Oh my god. Oh yeah, that just happened out of nowhere. So that will count as a for caution. And I think this is where everything is uh got a bit crazy right now. But Dustin but Danny Silla will hold this lead for now, I think. Second only miles and third. Lance Jr. 
But yeah, since that uh third wreck happened involved Mitchell involved with uh Jack Joe's and Mitchell Collins, who was uh gone good a bit, but ended up got involved with end up got taken out by uh Jack Joe's, but well, at least it at least it take out uh Jack Joe's. I don't know, but we'll just look back on to the replay and see who did it, because I do not Remember or see if one of them, or at least if two of these drivers would have started first. But anyways, let's let's look let's look back. Let's just show the replay. I kept starting too much. Jesus Christ! So this is where it all started, as I think. Uh, just see for a sec. Oh, yep. Yeah. He almost took out Jack Joe's by first, almost uh quit the uh, Dustin Davis. And then for a second time, yep, this is where he took out Jack Joe's. He had enough of them. And this is where that Carabell got involved in a pretty big hit with uh Mitchell Collins. Darren Arstro probably could have uh, gone away with it, but End up hitting uh, Mitchell Collins for a bit, which that didn't give him much damage. Zachary Fitzwater also got involved as well. Joshua Johnson also got involved. She scraped it through the wall. Brandon Yolo, I think, hit the uh, 66 car of Carl Bell's uh, car. And Sophia was involved, but he's just trying to push the. Uh, Brandon Yolo's car out of the way, which I found it hilarious. Since I have never saw any uh, drivers who have done that before, which is ridiculous, but also funny at the same time. But, uh, yeah. He had to do what he had to do. And, yeah, there goes Nick Wall, who's slowing down. At least he wasn't involved from that one. And you know what happened from that? This is where that Mitchell Collins had enough for today. And this. And uh. Yep he's definitely out for this one. So. Uh, pretty much for this whole. For this uh, whole thing here is that. He pretty much I think got. I mean, I'm pretty sure he didn't meant to uh, take out Jack Joe's, which that could have led him to misunderstood of uh, what happened. But uh, yeah, that was just a yeah incident between uh, Mitchell Collins and Jack Joe's, which while he uh, took out Jack Joe's and then ended up uh, got a hard hit by Carabell. And little hard hit from uh, Jack Joe's. That's where he uh, took his points away. And he won't be able to be tied with Charlie Devilport anymore. So, yeah, that's disappointing. Pretty disappointed with what happened. But we'll move on to the whole race and... We'll just see how this goes for this whole uh, race itself. So let's let's uh, get back to it. Also, I want to point out that Jesse James is out as well. So yeah, sorry. <laughs> I tried to mention that right before we get to the uh, second restart, but I forgot forgot that I was supposed to do that. But we're just gonna move on anyways. So we have. Tenny Silla as our new leader now, second on Miles. Third is Lance Boot Jr., fourth, Zachary Davis, and fifth is Colby Harris. Danny Silla, one of our first dual winners. Out here is looking forward to try to get his first win by only 10 laps to go. Actually, 9 laps to go, excuse me, as we're going green for the third restart. Ooh, 
Ooh, oh, Miles. Fox, let's put Junior. Anyway, until we get to the third turn, he almost. I mean, he just barely passed Denny Silva until now. And uh, yeah, this is where he takes his lead away from uh, Denny Silva by now. Now there goes Lance Smith Jr. that wants his lead back. As he's going to try to uh, pass on Miles. Denny Silva is still going to try to stay at third. But Zachary Davis wants to be at third. If he really wants to get watcher points. Same way of how uh, Luke Rennie, uh, Luke Rennie's performance goes from uh, from today's uh, North Fork Sport race. I don't know what more noise I make, okay? <laughs> don't judge me. And there goes Lansford Jr. diving down to the inside to try to pass on Miles. As we're going at five laps to go. He's got his lead back. That leads to on Miles to second. We might we might be able to see a third JGR driver to get his first win out here at this at one of another short tracks. Four laps to go. Sam Hoskins catching up as he has now moved to top five position. Fast Sucker Davis, which I led them to fifth. Hopefully, won't get passed by Warrior Wimbledon. And he had gone closer to uh, Denny Silva's, the back of Denny Silva's car. As we're going on three laps to go by now, Lester Jr. is still far away from a couple of drivers, so he won't, he won't have to worry about a thing. He's just going to do this whole thing and try to get his first win out here at Donington. As we're coming out, two laps to go. And... Sergei Davis did got passed by Luke Rennie, which also led him to launch points. Alright now, we're coming at one final lap per set by the NRLA. We've seen, Ch we've seen Charlie Devonport won twice. Sam Oskin, who's the previous winner for this week. And for this week, we got another JGR winner that is Lesbeth Jr. Who will win at the hashtag Save the Speedway 400 race here in North Brooksboro. What a, what a win for Lennon, Lennon Smith Jr. Oh jeez, I'm starting too much, but congrats to him, dude. Also, congrats to a couple of drivers who have uh, gotten a better finish in a couple other races than what they usually finish, but I don't know. Let's just look at the uh, final results here at here at North Roxbo. So first we got Lennon Smith Jr. second, Owen Miles third, Denny Silva fourth, Simoskin fifth, Luke Rennie sixth, Zachary Davis seventh, Rory Wilton eighth, New Orleans Holiday ninth, Bell Moscow tenth, this Trey Smith eleventh, Dave, David Paschal twelfth, Brandon Perez thirteenth, Down Falconer fourteenth, Kip Silver Point fifteenth, Charlie Devonport sixteenth, Sua Sora now here are drivers that are lap down. 17th, John Tryon, 18th, Louis Sakawa, 19th, Logan Williams, 20th, Fred and Isep, 21st, Sophia Fragnetto, 22nd, John Davis, 23rd, Brandon Noel, 24th, Nick Wall, 25th, Chase Harris, 26th, Brandon Uchis, 27th, Kobe Harris, 28th, Scott Upton. Then at 29th is Trevor Collins, 30th is Joshua Johnson, 31st, Stephen Cologne. And here are your drivers that are out of this race. Very second, Darren Orsdorf. Very third, Jack Jones. Very fourth, Carabao. Very fifth, Mitchell Collins. Very sixth, Sucker Fitzwater Sr. Very seventh, Dustin Davis. Very eighth, Jesse James. Very ninth, Marco Davidson. And that fourth is Chase Johnson.
Johnston. Oh, Jesus. But, uh, for my final thoughts of this, I'd say this is pretty much of a decent race. We have ended up saw three wrecks, actually five wrecks in total. Two of them are not called for a caution. Three of them mostly, uh, mostly have called for a caution from these uh, three wrecks. But, uh, yeah, this is, this is pretty interesting to see a different drivers with, uh, Fall against each other here in North Brooksville, which involves uh, Nice with Junior or Miles, Danny Silva, Kobe Harris, which is one of them as well, Luke Rennie, and a little bit of Sacker Davis. But yeah, so Hillside is one of the best races that I've ever commented. Las Vegas goes to second. And for North Brooksboro, this will go to third. That's one of the best races. Third best races that I've ever commented. First season one of the Chips Toy Cup series. But uh yeah, I'm just I'm just giving you my uh rating results uh for which uh, tracks the best. But uh yeah. That's definitely better than Donaton though, so yeah, there's that for you. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys at Portland for one of our first workhorse races that will lead to the Chips Oil Cup Series Drivers Race at here at Portland. So, uh, yeah, see you guys later. Peace.